What's up, y'all? It's me, it's your boy Asmogold, and today we're over here at the Northern Barrens. This is going to be the first stop for getting the achievement Collect Your Deck. Now, this achievement is basically you get all of these different little items, and all of these little items summon different bosses in the Brawler's Guild, and you uh, get all the items, you get one achievement, and you kill all the bosses, you get another achievement. I already did the, uh, the one for doing killing all the bosses, but for whatever reason, I thought I did the one for getting all the items, but apparently I didn't, and people have been asking me about it, and so I'm going to kind of do that one now. Uh, the Raptor Hide Boxing Gloves are the first ones that we're going to be looking at here. Now, you get these from Northern Barons, and the 5.3 used to be able to buy it from the vendor, but the vendor is not here anymore, and so what you have to do is you have to kill these laborers, and uh, there's, this is the best place to farm them, in my opinion, and uh, you just run around and pick up all these mobs and AoE them down. The, the ones over here really don't do anything, honestly, and you just AoE them down and eventually get the item. Now, what I read online is that this item is very, very hard to get. It's not really hard to get, obviously, as you guys can, can see, I killed like 50 of them at the same time. Uh, it just takes a long time, and so, good luck with it, though. Mm. Mouth is getting dry. And uh, this item summons Tithar, and people said they spent about, I don't know, like four or five hours here, and that's about how long it took them to get it. The next one here is the Boingtron 3000. Now you get that by doing daily quests that you get from the Blingtron 4000. It's, you know, whenever you see him, uh, every day you can do a daily quest with him, and he gives you a little box of stuff, and inside the box is a chance for, there's this thing called the Dusty Old Robot, and uh, this is the quest item in here, and so as you can see, I just turned in the box, and uh, it'll be in this little item box, and you just open it up, it'll be the quest item, and then that's pretty much it. It's pretty simple to do. Uh, the next one here is um, the Impeccably Sharp Tooth, and this is to summon Razor Grin. And the reason I'm over here at the Valley of the Four Winds is that I'm going to talk to this guy right here, as you can see where I am on the map. And I'm going to show you guys how to actually, because you have to fish this out of the pool, the Fish of the Day pool. And uh, in order to find out what the Fish of the Day is, uh, you go ahead and you talk to this guy and you say, Sure, I'd love to hear a secret. And this is going to tell you where it is, like in the area. But if you still don't really know where that is, you can say, uh, just put it on my map, and um, he'll put a little X on your map, as you guys will see here. And there it is. Uh, basically, you have to get it from the large pools here. As you can see, there's a very large fishing pool in the middle here. Now, what I've read is people got them from other pools, but whenever I was farming this, I found that the larger pools seem to have a very high drop chance of them, so you should focus on uh, getting them out of these larger pools. Uh, another thing is after you fish all the fish out of the larger pool, a kraken comes up, and so be ready for that. It's pretty cool though. Uh, it doesn't really drop all this stuff except for basically a bunch of fish, but uh, you just have to fish it out of these large pools, and that's about it. Uh, for this one here, the paper covered rock. This is very simple, but it's also very RNG. You have to basically harvest your crops, and any normal vegetable like the, the cabbage or like the carrots or anything like that. Uh, apparently, this you don't get these out of like the the Moats of Harmony uh, crops or anything like that. So you have to do the actual vegetables. And uh, this paper covered rock it summons Rochambeau, which is kind of like a rock paper scissors boss. And this is a pretty low drop chance, so um, you know, good luck. Uh, for this one here, the modified chomping apparatus this summons Mecha Bruce. And what you do is you just have to fight Bruce. And whenever you kill him, uh, you'll actually get the challenge card. It'll just be awarded to you. Now the thing is with this, I actually killed this guy twice. The first time I killed it, I had never done Brawler's Guild on this character, and so I was just, uh, you know, I didn't really know what to expect. And so I killed him once and I didn't get it, and so then I went to the vendor for the challenge cards and I bought another challenge card to challenge him again, and then it gave it to me. And so if you don't get it the first time, buy a challenge card and challenge him again, and that should probably give it to you. Uh, the next one here is the knockoff grumple flute and uh, you get this i'm over here at the grumble bazaar and that's over here in kunlai summit and there's this guy over here called the grandpa grumble flute and all you have to do this one is very very easy all you have to do is just slash cast dance in front of him and as you guys can see that's where i am on the map and so that's all you where you need to be right right here i remember i didn't really know know where to go here and so i finally found him He's over here in the back, and you just type slash cast dance, and uh, just awards the item to you in your inventory, so make sure you have an open inventory slot. If you don't, I think I'll probably give it to you again, but I don't really know about that. 
And that's actually pretty much it for that one. And that summons Grample Grumblefoot, if I didn't say that. But anyway, the next one is the Well-Worn Blindfold, and that summons the Blind Hero. Now this is one of the harder ones, actually. Uh, fun fact. And the five daily quests that you get at the Dark Moon Fair, the ones that have award a Dark Moon prize box, Inside the Darkman prize box, there's a 3% chance to have the well-worn blindfold inside of it. Oh, excuse me. Um, and they, uh, that's pretty much all there is to it. So that's like the shooting one, the, uh, the, the tonks, the turtle one, uh, the one where he shoots you up in a cannon and you fall down in the water into the uh, little circle, and the whack-a-mole one. And so all three of all five of those have a 3% chance, and you can do them, I think, seven times every uh, Dark Moon Fair, and so, I mean, that's not how probability works, but you've got a really good chance of getting it if you do all of the daily quests every single time, or every single day for a week, whenever it's out, and so hopefully uh, this one won't be too hard for you guys to farm, but it did kind of take me a while. Now, this next one here is a frost-tipped eggshell, and it summons Dippy and Doopy. Now, it's over here in Ice Crown. You actually have to do a pet battle for this, so it's like super fucking annoying. And there's also a level to the the pet you have to fight is level 25, aquatic legendary pet. And so you want to get as many flying pets as you can. And I just picked the first three flying pets that I had that were rare quality, and I just sent them in to fight this guy, and they killed him. It was no big deal. Well, it was kind of down to the wire, as you guys will see. But it still wasn't that big of a deal. I was able to kill him with, with not really that much trouble. And there's plenty of other pets. This pet is not very hard to do, hard to fight. Uh, the only thing is he has that ice tomb as you see I'm mousing over here. And that's pretty annoying because if you don't, um, if you don't have something to kind of, uh, I don't know, like block it. Like if you can't uh, do like a deflection or like go up in the air or something like that. Uh, you're probably going to take a lot of damage from it. And it'll probably kill you just with that. And then also it's a stun. And so that's extra extra trouble for you and he also does a thing where you miss your attacks and that always makes me so mad but uh, as you guys can see there I, my attacks missed and that's why that pet died and as you can see I mean it took me all the way down to my last pet but I as I said I just face rolled this like I didn't even really put any strategy in whatsoever except for oh I'm gonna have a crow go first and that was that was pretty much it as you guys can see and then he dies and as soon as he dies uh, you'll be awarded the frost tipped eggshell and that's all that one takes. Uh, this one here is the Digmaster's Earthblade, and this is also very, very easy to get. All you have to do is you can get these restored artifacts, and you can get those from solving archaeology fragments in Pandaria, and you just click on them, and you buy the crates of Tolvir archaeology, and you just click on the crates. There it is right there. I got two of them out of five boxes, and so it's very common. Also, if you're doing digs in Oldham for Tolvir digs, if you do a dig at the uh, whenever you loot the um, the fragments or whatever, yeah, I think it's the fragments. Uh, there's a chance that inside the loot window there will also be the Earthmaster's dig blade. But my advice to you guys, if you don't do archaeology, is you can just go ahead and, and buy these restored artifacts from the uh, Spirit of Harmony vendor. One Spirit of Harmony buys one uh, restored artifact, and so as you guys can see here, if you have like ten of them, like you've got kind of a pretty good chance of getting this earth blade. Because considering I got five and two of them, and I've gotten plenty more uh, after that. Uh, this one here is the Furz Hosen Fur Fuse. It summons Master Boom Boom. And you do that. There's a quest here. It's called the Burlap Grind. And what you do here is you just ride this Yeti around. And this Yeti smashes and thrashes shit. And while you're smashing and thrashing shit, eventually it'll just loot the item to you. Uh, it, there's not really any real rhyme or reason to it or like any real trick you just run around on this gigantic yeti and kill things until it gives you the item it's really really simple i have no idea why i even made this clip so long to explain it i mean it's very simple you just run around uh, i think that the four button heals you because as you guys will see i died or something like that because so many of them attacking me but people online say that this took them i don't know i'd say like 300 kills or so and so make sure that you don't turn in the quest, because obviously turning the quest, you have to wait till the next day to do it again. And you can keep killing them after you complete your 100. But people said it took them like 15 to 20 minutes of killing stuff. And also, um, that was actually that was actually pretty much it. Uh, there's no real other, I don't know, like trick to it, as I said. But uh, you just pretty much want to run around here and jump around and smash shit. And you'll go ahead and you'll get it. And um, I think that there's, yeah, there's one more after this. And uh, yeah, I think that, yeah, here's where I die. 
But again, if you don't want to die, you have to press the 4 key, if I remember correctly. And the 4 key, it, it's like any of those other, uh, like whenever you have like a like giant monster that you're running around killing things on, uh, like one of the keys that heals them, he like picks up something and like eats them or something like that. And so it's really simple. Uh, you just pick that up, pick up one of the hosen, and you'll eat them. But anyway, just make sure you don't turn in the quest. And there it is, right there. It's on the Coda base camp, and again, Kunai Summit. And uh, you just run over there and tear shit up. Now these last two, the Vile of Red Shoes and the Bear and the Lady Fair, uh, both of those come from the scenario bags, and that's not the heroic scenario bag. The the epic one, it's the blue one, and so you can either do normal scenarios or you'd have to do more than one scenario. I think he. I think that, yeah, there's right here, the Greater Cache of Treasures, and it has a chance to contain both of these items, the Vial of Red Shoes that summons Splat, and uh, the Bear and Lady Fair, which summons the Bear and Lady Fair. But uh, honestly, that's pretty much it. You just have to collect all these. They're really not that hard to do, but it, it can take a little bit of time. But anyway, that's pretty much it. So thanks for watching, and like, comment, subscribe.